Welcome back to MG Midget Bertha Race Car, capturing my journey from uh, car restoration to the 2022 Speed Series. In this episode, I'm going to see what's involved in a dynamo to alternator conversion on an MG Midget. This car had a, a dynamo on originally. It's a 1973 car, so that was that was standard fit. And together with that, at the back of the bulkhead here, we've got the voltage regulator system uh, that controls it all. So uh, while I've been upgrading the car, I'm going to take the opportunity to fit here uh, a, an alternator setup rather than the dynamo. It's actually quite an easy job to do. You can buy kits that do it, but it's actually cheaper to buy all the parts individually. So let's see what's involved. First up then, you're going to need one of these brackets. I've already purchased this instead of the, the smaller Dynamo one, fitted that in the same way to the car using these two mounting bolts here. Uh, I've got a new water pump on the front, so that will provide the second mounting for the alternator. And then I'm reusing the uh, adjustment bracket that I had on the Dynamo for my alternator here and uh, reusing the adjustment setup at the bottom. So that will give me my, my adjustment. Uh, I'm going to need a fan belt and they are a different fan belt from Dynamo to alternator so I bought myself an alternator fan belt once the pulley goes onto the front of the flywheel that will go round here and then round the alternator you're going to need an alternator of course so I bought myself an, an alternator from one of the popular uh, suppliers here in the UK in order to fit it probably the most complex bit is going to be removal of this uh, bolted regulator setup and and doing the wires accordingly to uh, to work with the alternator so to do that uh, what I've done is I've gone onto the Moss website and printed off their instructions for uh, alternator conversion so that's what I'm going to be following and what I really like about the Moss uh, instructions is that uh, it comes with with wiring diagrams as well so if I can just open the page here, there we go. You can see it comes with all the wiring diagrams necessary and step-by-step -step instructions as to how to do it. So I'm gonna get hardware fitted first. Let's get the alternator on and then uh, we can have a look at the electronics. Seems life is never without its problems, is it? So uh, with the belt that I've been uh, supplied with as a 1275 belt, even with the alternator as tight in as it will go, it won't go round the pulley uh, in order to mount up. I've done some measurements online and this belt that I've got is 802 millimeters in total length and uh, by the looks, I found a forum where someone has quoted 838 millimeters times 10 as being the preferred belt size. So uh, I've done a measure around and that would indeed fit this, this setup. So uh, I can't fit the belt at this point. I'm gonna have to go and get uh, an 838 millimeter belt uh, times 10 millimeters and then that should fit perfectly. So my new fan belt's arrived. I've gone for a QBA875 Quinton Hazel belt. Let's get that fitted, see what it looks like. And there it is installed. You can see we've got the correct measurement on the adjuster. Fits around the belt, fits around the alternator well. So that's definitely the one to go for. Again, 
QBA 875 Quinton Hazel V belt or equivalent seems to be the perfect size for the uh, dynamo to alternator conversion right next thing to do then is get the fan put on tighten up the belt and then we can move on to the electronics all tightened up now in the center of its adjustment range that's the fan belt all fitted so first then is to reconnect the alternator I've got two wires on my old loom it's quite straightforward we've got the small one which goes on to the small blade in the uh, the alternator Let's see if we can get that on. And the sec second larger wire, this is the main power wire from the alternator. This can go on to either of the two connections. So I'm gonna stick that into the middle one there. Right. So this is the wiring diagram for the dynamo fitted to the car. So this was what was originally fitted to the 1973 car. And this is the new diagram that I'm working to with an alternator. So you can see here, we've got to do some connections here and we've got to take this one across here. So let's see what that looks like on the car. Something useful for uh, doing this kind of job is just to understand the colors. So here are the colors from the uh, Haynes manual, if needed. So after digesting the instructions here, it's actually a bit more simpler than I thought. This is the feed cable on the voltage regulator from the alternator. Uh, it's the little wire, and that has to be connected to the little wire here that goes into the car dashboard and the, and the ignition light. So these two wires here, I've got to cut and connect together. All the big wires, so this big yellow uh, and brown one here, and these two brown ones here, those have got to be cut and all joined together as well. So uh, those need to be uh, cut and connected together. This last little one, this black one is an earth and can be cut and left capped off as that was to earth the voltage regulator. So that's not needed. Little wires connect together, three big wires connect them together. And in principle, that should be good to go. So let's crack on with that. So there we have it, the two thin wires connected together. What I've done in the end is connect these together uh, with some some eye bolts uh, into the, the wires, bolted those together, and I'm gonna seal all that up so it can't touch any of the bodywork. Uh, and that should be my alternator conversion all complete. Once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the video. See you on the next one.